Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what, like, what I'd like to do is show you how to graph this ellipse. But before I even think about graphing ellipse and I see all the fractions, I'm like, ah, I don't want to deal with this. It kind of comes upon me as like, hey, yeah, it has fractions. But guess what? This is a, a circle. So it's going to be much easier than actually graphing you know, the ellipse and doing all this fraction stuff because this is in the form of the equation for a circle, which is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. Right? I don't have my a and b. My r is my radius, um, which is you know, equal for both for the, all the vertices. So now, all I need to simply do is just determine, well, what is my center and what is my radius? So the center is h comma k, and the radius is r. So in here, you can see that my center is, remember, it's the opposite, right? So it's negative 2 thirds and, I don't know, positive 1 half where my radius is r squared. So we could say r squared equals 16 over 25. Square root, square root. r equals square root of 16 is 4. Square root of 25 is 5. So now I know the value of r, which is 4 fifths. So to graph this, I'm going to use a big scale. So that's 1, positive 1, positive 1. That's negative 1. That's negative 1. OK, so, ah, shoot. Let's use 2, 1, 1, 2. I got to change my scale. Just realized. OK, my center is at negative 2 thirds, which is like 0.666 repeating, right? So it's going to be like here, and then up 1 half. OK, so that's my center. Then my radius is 4 fifths. Now, if you think of a decimal, that's 4 fifths is like 0.8, right? So it's almost. A distance of one, and you know we could figure out all these points, you know, if you wanted to, um, but I'm pretty much just going to estimate up here that where is my radius. I mean, main important thing is determining the values of that. But there's your center, um, and that's my rough sketch of my um, vertice of my set of my circle. But again, you know, we could evoc we could use a calculator just to find actually, you know, what it would be some of those coordinates. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that is how you graph a circle uh, with dealing with fractions. Thanks.